It's called Apert syndrome. The birth defect is so rare that out of every 1 million babies born every year, no more than about 10 or 15 will get it. Lindsay Kovacevic reports a woman from Orange County says she's coming forward to educate others about a disorder that makes her different on the outside, but has given her an inner strength that many seek but never achieve. Fingers and toes fused at birth. About 80. It's a lot of surgeries, yes. 40 years and dozens of surgeries later, Penny Dalton's hands and feet are separated. I'm blind on my right eye. But physical challenges remain. It affects hearing loss, and so it's, it can affect other parts too, but like my hip bones are not fused together. I have to have hip replacement. Dalton has a PERT syndrome. Her skull, like that of everyone else with the syndrome, closed together too soon. It did not allow for normal growth. Her face looks like it's sunken in. Kids will make fun of me, but I have friends that I went to school with and they're still my friends today and they took up for me. It's through the help of those friends that Penny has overcome many challenges in life. One big challenge remains. I'm trying to find somebody in this the golden triangle, anybody that might have apron syndrome to get in contact with them and talk about it. And, ha and have a support group. And have a support group. And support for a syndrome that still mystifies many people. I just want to encourage the parents to talk about it, and especially little kids. Encouraging others to talk about it, as she has for many years. A woman speaking out, hoping others will see not the differences on the outside, but the similarities within. They do stare at me by the say, that's just a God. I mean, I'm from, God made me this way. Inviter Lindsay Kovacevic, KFDM 6 News. Penny Dalton hopes to support to start a support group for people who have APERT syndrome. You can email Penny and learn more about the syndrome by going on to our website, KFDM.com, and reading the story, Living with APERT Syndrome.